camps more than anything are like my passion. You know, I've done a lot of them in the Texas area, but it's my first time doing it in Indianapolis. So I was able to work with Place Work Academy, Razor Canes, able to help me put all this on. So I'm glad I found a ring to know it's my mark been over, you know, my second home in eight years now. Brandon, actually, you like to do a lot of life skills at your camps too. What's kind of the reason that you're so passionate about that? Well, basketball should be the fun part, right? But then as kids are growing up and whatnot, you need to learn to use basketball as a tool. I'm just trying to, I don't know, just stay on their heads at a young age, just how to treat people, you know what I mean? How to treat with respect. And I think, I feel like it doesn't really grasp the younger kids, but the kids that are going into college, the kids that are coming out know, of the high school experience, they start to understand a bit more as they go to the real world. I don't know if you saw, but when you came in, one of the big murals has been you for a while, Tyrese is the other. What does that kind of mean to you as you see part of your brand extend here up to Westfield? It means the city's embracing me, man. And, uh, just like I've embraced them, I feel that same love, you know, coming back right back to it. I said I've been here for years on one night, and um, it really is my second home. this part of my love here. Getting loud back then. I love you. <laughs> what do you hope these kids take away in general from not only being around a pro in their city, but maybe learn a little bit about the game? Yeah, man, that's possible. I mean, there's so much to basketball, right? There's so many jobs around basketball. You don't just have to be a player. You can be in the front office. You can be a ball boy. You can be a scout. There's so many you know, opportunities that come with basketball itself. And I just want to try to instill to everybody that's possible to make it, you know, no matter where you play. You talk basically at the end of the season, you talk a lot about what the summer could do for you, basically, both as a player and as a person. The things that you're going to be able to do. The one that you're going to be healthy to that you knew you're going to be in the same place. What's it been like? I mean, has it been as rewarding a summer as you hope it's going to be? Absolutely, man. I feel like uh, very well traveled this summer. I'm sure a lot of people have seen. I'll try to post my experiences and stuff. People kind of live vicariously through me. I feel like I really took care of my mental. You know, I spent the beginning of the summer training in Denver for a month and a half. It's just a different change of scenery, a different environment, just a, I don't know, a different aspect of training I never kind of like took seriously, you know, with the breathing and whatnot. So that was probably my favorite place I've been all summer. I've been all over the place, but getting that time to myself, getting that time to just really refocus and be cinema was dope. And then, you work hard, play hard. You know, I got to have some fun, you know, with my peoples and whatnot and uh, get out, try new experiences. Just right back to work, man. Season's right around the corner. One of the biggest things we talked about was the defense. With the new upgrades, how do you, have you started to think defensively what you guys could look like with, with you, Bruce, and, and the other additions? To. I think we definitely got bigger. We added a you know, championship mindset of Bruce Brown. You know, he's coming fresh off the ship, and he could have gone anywhere this summer. He chose to come here and build with his group. You know, speaks a lot to his character and what he can bring to his team. And, um, you know, I was just with Chad uh, Buchanan last night. We were at the, uh, the Nike Skills Academy out in Portland. And that's the first thing we talked about. It was our defense and uh, how we're to, uh, tooling this roster, you know, around it this year. You know, if we can be a top 15 defense, you know, that's a player that's playoffs written all over. How else do you think you guys got better when you look at the whole of it? You know, adding Obi, adding Bruce, and also adding Harris, and then uh, from the draft, I mean, it's just, how else do you think this team got better? Yeah, on paper, I think we definitely got better. Now, as a matter of fact, they're just gelling everything. And that's what the training has to be so important for uh, these uh, pieces of games are so important. Um, I love what we've done. You know, personally, I feel like we definitely got faster, more athletic, and uh, you know, Tyrese is going to thrive with this. You know, we're all watching it right now with the FIBA World Cup. We'll make sure they get some love. You know, it's going to be a good experience for them. You know, I had an opportunity to do it a couple of years ago. I was blessed to kind of see just a different um, style of basketball over there. And I think getting that, if I'm right to the season, you can know, honestly make a jump from it. So I think it's a good one. You talk about your other travels. I guess just come tell me more about what that did for you just between the, um, the fashion week and I know there was, uh, I guess it was Comic Con and you know, what else was there? I mean, what those experiences? Yeah, I mean, you know, I got to go to Milan. Uh, got to go to like really six different cities in Italy. You know, that was amazing just to just to see how other cultures live. You know, I just want to immerse myself in their environment for a little bit. Um, did a bit of Hawaii at the you know the uh, beginning of the summer. You know, was unfortunately going on with the fires when I was actually in Maui. I got to see a lot of that, so I'm hoping that everything's right with that. Um, I went to Turks and Caicos, went to the Cayman Islands. I went to San Diego, you know, for Comic Con, and uh, you know a couple of undisclosed places, but you know, I had some fun. Though. Talk a little bit about the style changes for this team. How do you see you guys playing well during the next year to take the next step as the base? Well, like I said, we always want to play fast. We know we're going to be great offensively, but defensively is what we're going to try to make on that this season, you know, especially the beginning of the season. So um, I love how fast we're going to be. That's my biggest thing. As a five, I like to get out and run. I like to be able to spread the floor. And um, you know, the new acquisition, I think it's all possible. What do you find of Jarrett so far? Are you putting some of the I like his mentality. I really think that he's coming into this with that uh, super is the Yuko Exuberance is actually very important to the locker room. Like kind of the fresh mindset he brings into it. So he just having fun with a lot of things, but like he kind of turned it on when he needs to. You know, I tell people a lot, he kind of reminds me of the whole team of my daddy and Sean. He's kind of utility guy. Go out there and do a little bit of everything. For him, it's going to be fun, you know, the two things that 
he does great. When he comes out here, you know, in uh, training camp, you can see that he's going to be able to find himself. My other look is too, man. Ben Shepard, uh, Ben Shepard, I mean, I like the way he shoots the ball. And I was able to, you know, get a look at him during uh, the summer league. And Isaiah Wong, man, I watched him, you know, with his, um, his role in Miami, you know, during the, uh, uh, the March Madness and whatnot. So I think they all bring, like, different aspects. It's going to be a really fun training camp. I think we've got better than that. Sorry, guys. This is the last. Yeah, I mean, we want to get them to How do you think you got better as a player in Denver? Where you talk a lot about just being healthy and not having to worry about rehab and being able to just improve the game. How do you think you're improving? How do you think you're a better player? Now I think I've gotten better, obviously, with my health. I was able to improve my body and, uh, as opposed to trying to like play catch up. I was able to build. And then mentally, bro, mentally, I think I just uh, more control of myself, more control of my environment, more control of the people around me. It's just uh, it's all coming together, you know, at the right time. So I'm really excited for this year. I'm looking forward to uh, you know, what we're going to be able to build individually. I have a lot of goals myself as well. It's going to start going forward.